Hi everyone. I just wanted to share a really quick tutorial with you since my other tutorial was so long and this one's a lot more fun and, and a, a lot less time and effort. So I'm really always been obsessed with um, the 100 acre woods and anything to do with that. And last year, um, I was saving one of Mindy Lacefield's Patreon classes and we did um, an activity based on Pig, Piglet's Big Movie and I had not heard of Piglet's Big Movie before. And then I watched it, and of course it's adorable because everything with Pooh and his friends are always adorable. So this, I thought we would do another um, quick activity with this one. So I chose the one, the only fall one that they have, but basically um, this, this story is about Piglet keeping pictures in his scrapbook. And then they lose Piglet, and the whole rest of the book is trying to find Piglet by reading through or looking through Piglet's scrapbook. So these are the pictures, and I'll show you a little bit more close up in there, of course, precious. And so all of the pictures are, are pictures that Piglet drew of the activities. And then they ended up going back to Piglet's house and drawing their own pictures while they're trying to find Piglet. And then right when they get in trouble, Piglet shows up and saves the day and rescues them all. So there's the rescue. And then they go back and they're all happy about everybody's pictures because everybody's contributed. So this is, I made you a little bit more of close up so you could see. This is Piglet's big movie in which we learn that even though one is small, they can still make a big difference. And then here are some of the pictures from the movie. That's the one that we're going to work on really quickly. Sorry about the babies in the background. Here we go. And there's our winter one. We can do our winter one later. Oh, that would have been a good one too. Might want to leave this one out so you want to do that one. There's more fall ones than I thought there would be. Okay. And there's Piglet drawing his friends. And that was actually the picture that we drew. There's Rabbit devising his master plan. This is Tigger's, Tigger's favorite with the hula skirt. And there's Piglet who saves the day. That's when he's not saving the day. And when Piglet renamed Pooh Corner. Okay, and there was there's actually the one that 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 I did the last time when we did that one in class. So, if it would be most awesome if you just went the way Piglet did and just took a marker and just drew it with with either your non-dominant hand or with your hand closed. But I'm not really that confident right now, so I'm just going to give it a shot with a, a peach color us color erase pencil. So I'm just going to draw a really quick Piglet. So we're just going with a circle. It's hard to see, but just a circle. And then he's got a chubby little tummy like we all have lately. And then his feet. And we want him to look a little bit, a little bit kind of whacked out because none of Piglet's characters really looked very close. I'm just gonna start with a, a rainbow look for his eye area and then almost a complete circle for, and then his nose coming out of that on the left of the circle. And then he needs to have his face going backwards. This one's going to look even more Womper John than my last one. And then two little half circles for ears. And then this is his hand just up with the curve and then down. And then his body his body is so bizarre in this one. I swear to you, I did not believe that that was his stomach, but that's his stomach. My husband had to tell me that's what it was. So we're going to draw his stomach. Even though I don't think Piglet erased in his scrapbooks. And then we're going to do coming from the back. And then we're going to make a little spot for his arm. So another line with the curve. 
and then a big curve for the body. And then we have to have his tail and it's just gonna come out and be as bouncy as you can get it. And then we're gonna add another one of those curved lines for his foot, his leg, and then add his foot on at the end. And then just gonna round out his body, which is still looks a little bit different. And then we still have to add his other foot. So we're gonna go way up here and make one of those, those half round circles. And we're gonna almost close that in and then put his foot going that way. And then that's it. We're gonna grab a, a, a black pencil or some color close to that. And then we're gonna add in Tigger's eyes. I think I'm gonna go with um, a black marker because we're gonna have to outline these if we want them to show up very well. So a small eye on the left and a little bit larger on the right. And there's his eyes. And then we wanna add in before we paint his stripes. So just a couple of V's and then fill it in anywhere where you would like to put his stripes. And then his stripes come out just a little bit this direction. You can go back and fill those in now or later. And we're gonna do the same on the tail. Alternate those little stripes in. And while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and outline that tail because we're just right there. And it'll dry before we need to put any watercolor on it. And you might wanna make yours more curly. And we're gonna go right over to Piglet. We're gonna draw his nose and it's gonna be closer over to the right side of his face. He's gonna be facing Tigger. And then we're gonna make a smaller eye on the right and a larger one on the left. And then while we're, while we're over here with Tigger, we might as well draw his body in with the black marker. And then you have most of your pen work already done and all you have to do is go right in and fill in the colors. The leaves on the original one are, don't really look like leaves that much. So you can do anything you want to make them look like leaves. I'm not that great at drawing leaves, so that was good for me. I am not even going to draw in his um, black lines for his body. I think I'm just gonna go with the, the pink and darker pink, and then back over to Trace Tigger. And then you can use anything you want to color them in. Colored pencils would work. Neo Color Twos would work wonderfully. Uh, watercolor pencils would be great. Colored pencils would be fine and watercolors would be great. And markers just about out. He is definitely not exactly the way Tigger looks, but close enough. Our goal is for it to look very childlike and like Piglet drew it. And then I didn't put any lines for the leaves on the bottom. So if you want to do that, that would be fine. But if not, then we can just grab, I found um, Tim Holtz distressed crayons were great for these blobby shapes. So mine, he, they just had a brown pile and some green leaves on top, but I'm gonna try and make mine a little bit more colorful. So a couple of shades of green. And then I think I'm gonna do a red, some red leaves. And then we're just gonna wet these a little bit and kind of let them run into each other. But we wanna have some over here where Tigger can land. And this is an activity we can do six feet apart. Okay, we had to get quite a bit of gold in there. Might wanna make some longer ones that look like leaves. And for Tigger, I just used 
um, a pink, a pink Neo color too. And I did a little bit darker for his eyes. And then I just used the stripes with the Neo color too, because we kind of want them to blend together. We don't want them really defined. And then a little bit of darker in his ears. And then I colored everything else pink. And then I just blended it with a, with a water brush or just a water and a watercolor brush. And then I just add in watercolor for the background. There's Piglet. And then with Tigger would be just about the same. Grab an orange, get as much of him as you can. Okay. I ended up using a colored pencil on that one. This one's a Neo color too. And then yellow for his face. And I'm gonna do a pink nose because the picture doesn't show him having a pink nose, but I like the pink nose. Of, and this Tigger has a pink nose. So I'm gonna change it on that one. And then back in with the orange. And then just wet them and, let, and just let it run together. And it turns out cute. And it's a nice, fast fall painting. Little bit of yellow and then I'm gonna do yellow for his ears too. And then we just wet that. I'll just go ahead and wet the first one and then I don't even have any paper dolls. Okay, and then just wet the and let it run and you've already put in your marker, so you're good to go. And that's a very fast piglet and a very fast tigger and a very fast fall painting. Happy Thanksgiving week. Have a wonderful weekend.